Hi everybody, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. It's time for another Tuesday night choo-choo with friends. Thank you for being here everyone. Tonight I'll be working on a 14 inch round canvas and I have decided to do a sunset and water. I've been doing a lot of these. I think I've talked about it. I've showed you a couple that I've done and I figured I'd do a small version. The great thing about doing these sunset or landscapes um, canvases using pouring for either the water or the sunset is you can use a lot of leftover paints. You can see I'm emptying my bottles of my yellow, my orange, and these are just basic. Um, I think the orange is a Pebeo, the iridescent yellow orange. And um, there's no special uh, mediums in the paints. It's all Floetrol and water. A lot of times I'll use whatever I have on hand. Even if there's a little Liquitex gloss pouring medium in one, then that area will um, be a little bit glossy. So right now I am actually just going to go through and put down some um, pink or red and yellow and orange. Um, I think I decided to use uh, sachet red that is a modern masters color it's absolutely gorgeous decided to use that this time so I want to say a big thank you to my friends on this train there's Holly with the morning pour Camille art Camille Amoy Art, she is up next, and then Nate Bright Art will follow Camille. Last week, Julie E. was a special guest, and she was after Nate. I'm not sure if Julie E. will be with us tonight, but I'm sure that we will um, be able to announce it either here in the chat or in the description of below. below. Please make sure you check out all the videos in this train. We have some amazing artists. We are so grateful to have you here every Tuesday night with us. We could not thank you enough. We're all trying to grow our channel, and we can't do it without people like you that continue to watch, that give us, give us a thumbs up, leave us a great comment below. And again, we are just so, so grateful. Thank you for being here. So right now I'm going through and I am just going to create the sky and this is just so satisfying doing these sunset pours. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm using a palette knife um, or a cake frosting spreader this evening for the sky instead of doing a pour because the canvas is, a, is small and I need to be able to control um, where the paint goes. So I'm going to put some music on and I am going to see you at the next step. I will see you there.
Okay, so I didn't realize that my camera was not on, but all I did was took a little phthalo blue and Payne's gray and drew a dark line at the edge of my sunset. And I'm actually using a brush to create a um, line of trees. So when you're looking um, over the water, you'll see the tree line. So I've decided to um, leave the trees as is for the moment. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of blue uh, to the canvas. If I decide to add light blue, uh, I'll have some depth underneath the um, light, blue light blue paint. So I am continuing now to um, create the water. So as I'm painting the water, I leave a little bit of canvas. I typically put a shoreline and um, rocks or sand. And so I kind of left that not sure what I was going to do and start fiddling with the trees, which I'm so glad that I did. I made some a little bit taller and um, added a few more. And you can see the sunset through the trees. I just absolutely love this part of the painting. So I think at this point I am going to speed it up and you can watch me create the waves and um, the rest of the water. So I will see you at the end. See you there. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah, you, better step into the light Just give it a try, know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Okay, the painting is dry, and I decide to add some gold diamond bling it by color art to the sky. It adds a beautiful touch. I am now just going through and adding some of the bling it, some of the gold to the sky. I think under um, the varnish, after it's finished, it'll just give it a little extra oomph. And I do add some blue diamond 
bling it to the water in certain areas as well. So right now I'm just adding the gold and the, and the blue and I will see you at the end of this process. shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Okay, let's take a look at the dried results with varnish. It is absolutely stunning. The varnish brought out so many of the colors. The gold and blue bling it was a perfect touch. Here are a couple others that I've done off camera. I absolutely love this one. It's got a starry night and it has an actual sand beach. And I am practicing on this technique and I have one that I've since done and it's turned out amazing. I actually put that one in a white frame. This one is a pour for the sky and I actually um, did the sun and the mountain peaks with a little bit of stucco in areas. It doesn't really show the depth here. And the um, ocean was also a pour that I did and then I added um, just some white over top. I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday night with friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. We really appreciate you. Please check out Camille Amoy. She's up next. See you there.